on a weekend we saw the first round of the FA Cup we did nearly see an upset today are you happy in the end that the team rallied yeah of course I mean every game brings you a different challenge and today we sort of first half we didn't show up um, and we said that at half time we made some changes at half time Shirelle obviously came on um, and um, the second change that we made with bringing Lauren Cheshire on as well um, it, it changed things up. I'm disappointed that we had to make those changes, but we did make them in second half. We were much, much better, and we didn't really look like conceding second half. Um, first half, we were terrible um, all over the pitch, and we know that. But it's good actually that you know every game brings a different challenge, and today was a challenge of how do we come from behind? How do we actually sort of problem solve ourselves? Um, and yeah, it was good to come away with three points just. Of course, we say they're not the first half you would have wanted. Was there a bit of um, complacency there? I don't know. I don't know if it was complacency. We didn't look like it. The warm-up was good. Everything was going really well. Obviously, we rested some players ready for Watford next week. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't know why. And I don't even think the players know why we were so bad first half. Um, but let's concentrate on the positives. Um, Shirelle's obviously hat-trick was, um, was amazing. Uh, I think we just second half was a much better performance and that's what I'm going to take into training on Tuesday. I would say there are inspired substitutions with Sherelle Cassell coming on as a substitute and getting a 17 minute hat trick. Um, on her 50th appearance as well, alongside as well Jess Lurie who's another one making a 50th appearance. Couldn't be happier with that surely? No, definitely. Jess has come back in the team today. She's worked really hard. She's done really well, deserved a chance. Um, played in the friendly on Wednesday and played exceptionally well in, in that position. So, yeah, she deserved it. And Cher's coming on, obviously getting a hat-trick, would say 14 minutes? 17. 17 minutes, yeah. I mean, it's, it was only a matter of time. Cher's has been getting these chances and it's only a matter of time before it clicked. She deserved everything she got today. She came on, changed the game for us up front and um, was really good. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with Cheryl and she should be really happy. She deserves it, like I said, to hit that milestone of 50 games as well. Um, brilliant. Well deserved. And how will you take the performance today into future games, knowing that recently the performances have been a bit lacklustre, but you've been grinding out the wins and you are still top? Yeah, I don't think the performances have been lacklustre. I just think we're not scoring the goals. Um, we played nice football. We, we look solid. Um, it's annoying we didn't get our seventh clean sheet today, but we look good when we've got the ball. We look good off the ball as well. And it's, it's just disappointing today that we've come here and we think that, you know, we're, it's our home ground, it should be a fortress, and we've let in two really sloppy goals. Um, but, you know, going into the game, actually, we second half we deserve the win. And we go ahead now and think about Watford. I'm, I'm not sure what the Watford score is now. It was 2-1. Um, they were down, so they're going to come next week and want to prove a point. So it's going to be a good game. It's just we need to make sure that we reset, we train really hard um, on the Tuesday and take that into next Sunday.